Hello, um, people of the earth. This is the keynote for Whole White Door 6. And we're going to go over all the new features. So today is 12, 12, 12, and the release is out. So you can go and download it at whitedoor.com slash downloads. So the first feature we're going to hop into, well, actually, at first, here's a screen cap of it. And as you can see, it has a nice new theme. You can see the Apple Maps um, is beautiful. Not really, though. It's just the, um, the icons are changed. Some new wallpapers have been added. Alright, so white door reminders. So it's completely redone. Um, all the bugs that all the previous reminders have had are gone. Um, there's really none in this um, update. That it has a brand new user interface. It it, it's a complete mock-up of iOS 6 reminders. Um, and it, we completely rebuilt it from the ground up. And it's for white door 6 and 5.2 only. So no one else can have this. It's strictly for white door. Um, it's a great update. Amazing. Alright, here's so uh, new stand 1.5. Um, it's powered by the Lithium web browser, so it's fast. And it's faster than native Safari. And right now, it's currently for White Door News, but we're going to come out in a couple weeks with a 2.0 version, which is going to support non-White Door News. So it's going to be able to go through RSS feeds and PDF files. So you'll be able to import PDF through iTunes and read them right off a new stand, kind of like iBooks. Alright, so here's Sarah, it's Siri, and these are actual screen caps from my iPhone 3G, um, and it runs it perfectly, um, it opens, it's a complete mock-up, it's almost a port, the only thing different is the voice. It's amazing, I don't know how else to describe it, it it's a completely perfect, um, and I said test over here, and it replied this is just a test, but it it runs exactly like Siri. It's there's no flaws with it, and um, and that's Sarah for iOS three. All right, here's Time Machine, and it's gonna replace Three Store. It it has a bigger selection of apps. Um, it's through that market, just like the Three Store was. Uh. I really don't know how to describe it, except it's a three store with a bunch more apps. Um, there will be a demonstration of this. Um, Mateo's doing it, has all the apps. I'm going to go through in the keynote, and he's going to go through and go in depth with them. Alright, and um, here's the new version of multitasking. It's called Quick App Switch. It's not by Darlow. It's just a multitasking tray, but it you can't close out of the apps or anything. It just shows the recent four apps you use, and um, you can it saves them for a certain amount of time, and then it will clear it out by itself. So you don't have to worry about clearing it out of the background after you're completely done using it when you shut your phone off, or after like an hour, it will just clear it out automatically. Or if you open a new app, that takes place in the background. Um, if you don't like this method on the repo, you'll be able to restore it to Darlow's method. Don't worry. But as of right now, this is the fastest method. Um, and it saves a lot of RAM and stuff. It's really good. Alright, and of course, you get the, the brand new iOS 6 theme with a the new update. 